guys, it's Ashley, and for this week's video, I will be doing a quick walkthrough tutorial of my Bethany Motor drawing. I have been watching Bethany Motor's videos for close to five years now, and I think that she is such an inspirational figure, and it is unreal how far she has come from making YouTube videos in her bedroom, and I just love how positive and upbeat she is. I have been wanting to draw her for some time now, and I was just on her Instagram, and she posted a photo from her winter video, which I'll leave a link in the description to but I just loved it and I was like I have to draw this so unfortunately with this video I had problems with the video files when filming myself actually drawing her with pencil where I mapped out where how I wanted the drawing um, to look so with this video unfortunately it just mainly shows me using the Prismacolor pencils to color it in but hopefully you guys find this helpful anyways so with this video, I started with the eyes, which is usually how I do start when drawing people. I don't know, I just find it that if the eyes aren't good, it definitely diminishes how the overall drawing turns out. I guess it's like how people say the eyes are the windows to your soul. So yeah, something like that. As her eyes are quite a dark brown, there isn't much highlighting except for the M sort of shaped highlights with the white, and the rest is just black and dark brown blended together. As seen in the original photo, her eyelashes are really dramatic, it's kind of insane but she does pull it off. So to do this, I initially used the black Prismacolor pencil and then a black Faber-Castell pen. It's the, the um, Pit Artist one in the Superfine. From the eyes, I moved downwards filling in her cheeks and nose mainly using beige, ginger root, white and peach in some parts for her skin and using chocolate and umber for the shadows and the darker parts of the nose and a burnt umber for the contouring of her cheeks with the peach. When drawing hair, I like to do it in sections, which I tend to map out when sketching the drawing. I then, with these sections, have the darker parts on the outside, so coming from the roots and then the tips, which I use sapia, chocolate and dark umber for, and then I transition with umber into a lighter shade for the highlight, which tends to be in the middle of the sections, which I use a ginger root, beige, burnt umber and white in some parts for, and I just smooth it all out and add lines in the direction of the section for the strands of hair to make it all look more realistic. With the beanie, I had already sectioned it out when mapping out the drawing, so I just filled it with white, indigo blue and crimson red and made these sections darker with the black on the edges as well as a Tuscan red for the middle red section and a cool grey on top of the white for shadows and highlighting the blue and red sections with white so it all looked nicer. I then moved on to the sweater and jacket which for the sweater I mainly used black for the edges and a dark green in the centre for highlighting and the jacket I used sapia and french grey and a white to highlight. I then did the fur that came off the hoodie of the jacket which I primarily used beige, ginger root and in some parts white for the base as well as umber and dark umber for the shadows. When drawing this I drew the strands of fur so that it was coming on out of the center of the fur and out towards either her face or the background depending on which side it was and so that it was a curved line and after filling out the fur i went over it all with the chocolate to make it all darker from this i moved to the background which i wanted it to just be a neutral gray with the shadowing and highlighting um so i did a black outline around the edges and then with a 70 percent cool gray i blended the black so that it was a smooth transition between the two colors and then did a thicker outline than i did with the black um, with the 70% cool grey which was thicker at the bottom as I wanted the highlighting around her face. I then used 30% cool grey and white for the highlight and blended this all in. So that's the finished video and the end of the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed and it was helpful. Please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Also you can follow me on Instagram at ashleysaz0 for all my other artworks and be sure to check out my previous Snowflake Wonderland drawing tutorial. Thanks and I'll see you next time.